This is Daniel Cook building a sidewalk. Hi, I'm here with Chris, and today he, he's going to show me how to make sidewalks. Hello, Daniel. Very nice to meet you. This is Daniel Cook on a bike, in a plane, on a farm, playing games with many places and friendly faces. We'll have lots of fun with Daniel Cook. We must make sure that we're wearing our proper safety equipment. Yeah. This is Daniel Cook putting on a hard hat. First thing is the hard hat. Yippies. Let's fit that on you. Does that fit okay? Yeah. And the next thing is we'll put pretty on the safety heavy vest. Too. The hard hats are pretty heavy. Yes, they are. Why do you think we uh, wear hard hats? So, so if something really heavy falls on your head, it doesn't hurt that much. That's right. Backhoes, they usually dig up things and on that machine, it needs to be really strong to actually lift it up. Oh, it's very strong. It can yeah. lift large weights, huge weights, huge pieces of concrete that weigh thousands of pounds. Even on a house? Not quite, but close. The machine is now about to load that piece of concrete, that very heavy piece of concrete onto the truck. The whole time, he has to be very careful not to damage the stores or the poles. Or big buildings. Or the buildings, that's right. It's got to be really slow, too. Yes. Or we don't want the pool to fall over, do we? And you don't want, and you don't want to damage yourself. No. You don't want to damage your own machine. There we go. This is Daniel Cook operating a backhoe. Hi Daniel, my name is Dominic and I operate the backhoe. All right, so you want to learn how to operate machines, eh Daniel? Yeah. yeah? Okay. So this one here, it makes the machine go left and right. And this, on this arm here, opens and closes the bucket. This, this makes it go up and down, and this makes it go in and out. All right, okay. we're ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. This is the horn. Yep. Okay, here we go. Ready? Okay, easy. Okay, we're going to go to the left. Slowly. Slowly. That's it. Okay, well, not, not too fast. We're going to pick up the piece. Now we're going to curl the bucket. How do you open the bucket again? We open the bucket with this one here. Okay, slowly. Up we go. So, oh, oh, hold on. That's it. Slowly. Okay. Now we open the bucket. Perfect. Now he's loaded, we're gonna honk and tell him he's done. Push the button here. All right. How would I do it again? You wanna do it again? Yeah. And I can okay. see that they've cleared up most of this part. Careful. I can jump. Right. Okay, here we are at the concrete placement and finishing operation. You can see over there that the concrete is coming out of the truck. Yeah. And you can see all these men here working to level the concrete and smooth it out. Yeah. And you can see all the tools that they're using, floats and edgers and rakes and brooms. These are all tools that are used to finish the, the concrete. This is Daniel Cook smooth and concrete. Okay, hang on one second. Uh, now we'll just we'll smooth it. Here's here's a a, uh, a a what's called a float tool that smooths it out. So it smooths out the surface and it makes it level and even, very lightly, back and forth until it smooths it out. Why don't um, K 
construction workers like footprints in the yep. cement. Because that damages the finish. Yeah. Yeah, because yes. then That's some people... That's a good people, question. So, so then, if they do, if some people step in the wet concrete, we, it would leave footmarks in in the sidewalk and then somebody might trip. That's another good reason why we don't like it. Thank you really so much for showing me how to make sidewalks. Thank you very much, Daniel. No, thank you.